This work is like if R. Crumb were a sculptor. The sort of massive piles of wheat paste and, and wax make female forms that are very funky and reduced to like just symbol, symbolisms of women. I am, um, the funny thing is when you see works like this, then you look at the people, they start to look like them. Oh, hi, I love the work. It's uh, very, very nice. So I, I particularly like the bonus art orifice between the knees. Um, what's happening with that? Well, it's, it's taken, originally I made quite a small piece, which is called Helmet Crumb, which is a merging of Helmet Newton and... Helmet oh, very Crumb. nice! And I was then, close! Yeah, and then I thought, I'm coming to New York, so I want to kind of enlarge everything, so you uh -huh. know, inc increase the uh -huh. scale, and sort right. of revisit some of the earlier work. All right, a little bit like Red Groom's Fat Feet, too. Yeah. Yeah. I love the uh, posture of your figures. I particularly love the, uh, this, uh, is that a dark wax one? What is it's, that? It's actually bronze. Bronze, so, oh, yeah, very nice. Black patina on it. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. So I like the perversity of putting one of the bronzes in a, in a case and uh -huh. the fragile things aren't in the cases. Uh -huh. so you get a kind of museum. Yeah, the, the one in the back looks like it's wallpaper faced. Which one? <laughs> the one in the far back. Yeah, it's, a, it's like it's, oatmeal or it's something. A, it's a really, it's a, just not an unfried clay, so it's oh, super very nice. fragile. Very fragile. Yeah. Well, I love the work. And then you do these, uh, are these welded steel too? They're quite, they're quite new. I did them first in March in the Serpentine Gallery. I had a show. Uh -huh. and, um, I make them in the studio out of bits of wood, and I put the wood together, and then I get them copied. They're not cast, they're just uh -huh. copied out of rough bits of steel uh -huh. and, and welded together. Uh -huh. So they have a kind of ad hoc feel in the studio. And then uh -huh. But they're very lively too. Out. They seem very much uh, alive. Uh, uh, your, your works inhabit the space and they seem to be inhabited with personality too. Well, I'm, I'm very um, keen on making sure that just really installing the work in a very particular way. Uh -huh. So I had it quite classically installed at first, so everything was quite evenly spaced and it was kind of just sort of dying. So uh -huh. I'm trying to make them have conversations, the pieces sort of have conversations. Uh -huh. And then it's really animated when people come in the space. It's brilliant uh -huh. to see how people react when people interact. Well, congratulations so, on this you. show. I just These paintings have become much more like modern paintings because you hear it's all white and the really dark ones, but you can still see the paper cutouts, but they've been painted right over. And um, it's much more like a, a, a formalist modern painting. It just only vaguely references her own work, but if, once you know her work, you can start looking for the images in there of, the master abusing the slaves and the sexual power dynamics. I like that one in the in the middle. It's it's kind of like Guinerica. Yeah. It's sort of like Picasso's Rape of the Sabine Women, except it's uh, all details. It's all done in the in the dark of night. Just a leg here, a hand there, a bag, a rope around the neck all themes of violence and, and uh, turmoil. No, this is a total, a total new direction for her because it, it um, you know, it, it, it's, um, yeah, they're cinematic. It's like lights being turned on in a movie. You just get little glimpses of yeah. things going on. How do you do? Oh, good, I'm to hear great. To hear great? Yes. I'm Douglas, nice to meet you. Oh, you did. Thank you. This is, I'm here. Oh, you have the list. Oh, very list. nice. <laughs> oh, congratulations. Transcribe. Oh, yeah. Well, that's how I do it. I just write down a few things. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.
Peter Hujar was this uh, photographer that I knew in the 1970s. He was friends with my friend Fran Leibowitz, and he came and he took pictures of my rock and roll band. He's become extremely well known. He died quite a while ago um, due to AIDS, but he was a terrific, terrific photographer. We're here in the Susan England Gallery on West 24th Street, and it's so crowded and so loud I can't even hear myself think. Let's go say hello to Susan. The streets are packed. <laughs> We're counting on you, man. Oh, thank you so much. Anyway, it looks lovely. Thank you. I would hang around here more, but we're just it's hitting much everything. Better, yeah, much better without 100 and 200 people. I'll, in I'll be back. This girl inside this sculpture is a nice thing. <laughs> A nose. This is like the lighter side of the Middle East. <laughs> you don't see that much terrorist humor. Yes. What? Yeah. It, uh, um, uh, it's aggressive and hostile, and uh, it's a ball of confusion like the Middle East. I guess it's a rather transparent metaphor. Uh, the beauty uh, uh, culture has been just turned into uh, a war zone.